Hi, welcome back to part two of going through Proverbs, okay? We are going to go through the whole book of Proverbs. Sometimes it will be verse by verse, other times it will be a selection of verses. Depends on how the verses are and how they fit together with one another. So let's move on. We are now on verse three, which reads the following to receive instruction in wise behaviour righteousness, justice and equity. Now equity means to treat other people fairly, it means to give fair treatment to people. So the Bible is very much a book that agrees with giving fair treatment to people. Anyone who says otherwise need to hold the Bible in uh, contrast to other verses, so need to not take the Bible out of context. So many people pick on verses about uh, slavery and such like and say, well God isn't interested in people in treating people equally. Well, that's not true because it says to receive instruction in equity, which is the treatment of people to be fair. So the Bible encourages older people to teach younger people to treat other people fairly, to treat other people in the right way. So to receive instruction in wise behaviour. Most people today do not behave in a wise manner. They go about the streets, some of them, they pick fights, they get drunk, they get disorderly, they do, not, they do not act right, and then they wonder why their lives go down the toilet. Now, I'm not saying that some people don't have an advantageous start in life, and people who don't have that, that advantageous start in life, they can go downhill, okay? I'm not judging anyone. But if people don't get the wise instruction in wise behaviour, they're not going to know what the right thing to do is. I'm, I'm not saying that these people who behave unwisely deserve to be judged, I'm saying that older people, the older generation, older Christians and such like, have a responsibility to teach younger people not to go astray in these ways. We have a responsibility. And part of my video series is, is my hope is to teach younger people, people who want to do the wrong thing, teaching them to do the right thing, because the right thing yields results. Now, you may not feel like doing the right thing, because maybe your parents are divorced, maybe your dad or mum beat you, maybe you were sexually abused, and all these things cause you to hate the world and hate people and hate uh, authority and hate instruction. But listen now, I want you to do better with your life. I want you to go forward with your life. And no matter what's happened to you in the past, you can do that. You can receive the instruction. And I, I do, do just hope you watch this video series and get the instruction you need because I want you to become a better person whether I'm talking to someone who's 16, 18, 35 or 90, I want you to become a better person. I'm not saying this because I think I'm a great person, I think I'm a better person. But I do understand that Proverbs has within it secrets and wisdom that will help make all of us better people. It really will. It's a book I've read all the way through before, not that I'm boasting about that. But I've read it through and I can tell you it's helped me, it's helped me in my life. There are things here that if you listen to it and you apply it, will give you instruction in wise behaviour. Justice. We all want justice. But Proverbs seeks to give you instruction in justice. What's the most just thing that can happen? The most just thing that can happen to the people that did wrong to you is that you go forth and you live your life and you lived it to the best of your abilities and you live it in a really great way. There, you, the Bible says you will walk uh, poor burning coals on the heads of your enemies. That's what the Bible says. That is the most effective way, my friend, to gain revenge. Not by putting acid in someone's face, not by fighting someone, not by going to kill them. These things will just get you in a whole lot of trouble, even if the police don't catch you, right? They get you into trouble, both physically and spiritually. Please listen, okay? Don't do those things. Listen to the wise instruction, wise behaviour. If you don't have anyone wise you can turn to, Please listen to these, this video series and other video series on Proverbs. They will help you. They will help you to become a better person, the person that you need to be. But most importantly, let me just share this. You need to know Jesus as your personal Lord and Saviour. I know some of you will switch off at this point and say, ah, no, 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 no. Okay, right. If you read this through the eyes of Jesus living inside of you, it will really open up. I want you to have a better life. I want you to have the life that you can have, the best possible life you can have. I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about cars. I'm not talking about status. 
I mean being the best person you can be on the inside of yourself. That that is the best life. Okay. So thank you for watching my second part of Proverbs. Please do stay tuned and smash that like button and bell icon and subscribe to me so we can make more of these videos. Thank you.